to Snooping Saturday where we kick off our training shoes and try to cope with our coffee addiction. It's my cheat day. I'm Shifu Payne and today we're going back to the well of tried and tested YouTube video formulae as we do an unboxing video. But before all that, we like to highlight here on this show those people that may not get enough credit or need to be given more of a spotlight. As we quickly spotlight someone that covers a subject which may not be martial arts oriented, but it's certainly martial arts adjacent? Ish. And that is someone you may have already heard of, known on TikTok and Twitch as Slayers. Sounds like a porn name. Not only are they just about to hit 1 million followers on TikTok, but what are they known for? They're known for lightsaber content. That's a lot of glow sticks. Well, let's put a spotlight on them, as they also have YouTube. I just want to say, welcome now to this YouTube community. It sucks. You're gonna love it. <laughs> With that being said, swords are better than lightsabers. Go ahead and try to change my mind, princess. But with that being said, you know what's better than a lightsaber? Well, nearly everything. But you know what's specifically better than a lightsaber for this video? Swords. And you know what's better than one sword? Two swords. And you know what's better than two swords? Three swords. And you know what's better than- <laughs> Well, that brings us on to today. Well, we are unboxing this here sword, and not just any sword, a broadsword, or rather, two broadswords. So we've spoken before about Chinese broadswords, or Dao swords. Well, there is a segment of Dao swords known as Xuan Dao, or double the broadswords, double the fun. Loosely translated. Well, the thing about Chinese martial arts is that oftentimes there's a form of specialization because there are just so many weapons in Chinese martial arts, and specifically in Kung Fu and Wushu, that there's like 18 or so weapons. So there's the tendency to have specializations. So you'll have your bow staff, or just the staff, which is the foundation, that's what everyone learns, and then you'll have the specialization. So my specialization is the broadsword, and specifically the double broadsword. So here we have the double broadsword. I bought this from Playwell Martial Arts. Uh, I bought stuff from them before, but it's always been through the courier of Amazon. This time I'm specifically buying from them directly. I'll put a link in the description for their website, as well as some other websites you can take a look at as well if you want to take a look at their catalog. So you've got Enzo Martial Arts, uh, you've also got Dragonsports.eu. I'll put a link to those descriptions. At uh, I bought stuff from them before, but it's always been through the courier of Amazon. This time, I'm specifically buying from them directly. I'll put a link in the description for their website, as well as some other websites you can take a look at as well, if you want to take a look at their catalogue. So you've got Enzo Martial Arts, uh, you've also got Dragonsports.eu. I'll put a link in the description for those as well. But enough talk. Let's open this up. Oh, I felt that one. So let's see. I'm opening this the wrong way. I'm opening this the wrong way. Flip it! Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, I've gotten through the bubble wrap. Now it's just a matter of tearing through it. <laughs> My dog is getting all the sniffs out of it. Ooh! I bought the one that has the scabbard with it, so... It's nice and... I don't know what I'm saying. Very simple. Ah, there we go. Here we go! Made in Taiwan. Ooh. Oh, that looks... It looks sick. It's not even out of the full packaging yet, but it just looks so sick. Oh, it's wood panelled! Ah, oh, that's awesome. Okay, here we have the broadsword. So, as you might already be able to tell, just based on the... on the... Uh, on the hilt, it's made of metal. So, oh, okay, so let me put this down. Okay, so when it comes to buying broadswords, you're not just going to get one metal uh, broadsword and call it a day. No, there are different kinds of broadswords for different purposes. So this one I've gotten is actually on the cheaper end because this one is more of one for performance. So it's very lightweight, very flexible, the blade. If I unsheath it now, this is going to be the first time I'm going to unsheath this. I'm actually so excited! <laughs> if I unsheath one... Oh, wow! 
Okay, so how it works generally is that at the just set this down here. So as close as you get closer to the hilt, it's much more uh, rigid, right? As if you have this end flopping about everywhere, you're more likely to accidentally hit yourself in the face, and then that's not very good. You can just easily stab yourself. And then over here, it's a bit floppier. And then here, it is completely flexible, like that. Oh, this is sick! Oh. oh, this is awesome! This is like the first proper metal sword I've actually bought. Okay, so this is blunt. I should say that. It is blunt. So it's not as though it can cut you or anything. Like, I do this. It'll probably bruise, but it wouldn't like... It wouldn't, uh, like, puncture. You know what I mean? But that being said, because at the end it's more like tinfoil, there is still that risk that it could cut you. It's, it would give you like a paper cut, you know? Let me just see how my dog reacts. What do you think? How's it smell? Does it smell good? Nonchalant. <laughs> okay, so... Measuring it in inches... It is a... About... Laurel, don't do that with the carpet. Oi! Don't make me stab you! I can do that now! 30... It's over... It's nearly at 37 inches. You have some variation when it comes to the sword length. Yeah, so you have different variations. So that'll be the 32 inch, the 33 inch, and this one. It looks as though it's closer to the 38 inch. So, if I measure just the blade, it's around about 30... Yeah, it's nearly 31 inches. Okay, so that's the length. The width... Oh, this is sick! It's about to be a strain getting this in... Oh, no. It's... I, I love the ribbon that comes with it. It's red as well. My favourite colour! There's a bit of a gap, but it's around about at... About two... Two inches. Okay, so now we're just moving over to here because I said that these were the lightweight uh, blades. So now I want to test that and just see how lightweight they are specifically. And yeah, given how they feel quite good actually, and I didn't mention it, but they've got on the hilt. If I bring it closer, got a nice, nice uh, bit of fabric around the, around the hilt. The actual hilt is metal as well. I know it feels really good. It's a good fit. So I'll just do a couple of basic drills. <laughs> oh, this is sick! Ah, oh. like that's part of the advantage of having the flexible blades, right? Is that when they, when you stab with them or anything, you hear, they make that nice sound. So if I do it again, no, makes that sort of. If I really put some, makes that nice crashing sound. Because like, again, this is all for performance, right? These ones are used in performance, or so creates that sound. And also, when these are out in the sun, they have that nice, glimmering, shimmering effect. Speaking of which, being outside, I'm just thinking about this. I definitely won't be able to take this out to the park. Like, I knew I wouldn't be able to, like, after I bought these, yeah, I won't be able to take these out to my local park. You just imagine it. I mean, maybe I'd be able to say to the resident police officer that, that stops me, like, it's okay, officer, they're blunt. But, yeah, no, that's not gonna cut it, is it? No. Cut it? Get it? It didn't come with, like, any sort of attachment to use as, to holster the scabbard, which... It's a shame, because I'm one of those people that loves the hanging it on the back. I'm telling you, if I get, if I'm able to get the, the mask as well, I could use this in a great, uh, Blue Spirits cosplay. <laughs> so that is the double broadsword, and I'm a, or the Schwandau, and I must say, I am so glad I bought this. Actually, I haven't even been able to fully practice with them yet, 
but I can already tell I'm going to have so much fun training with these. That is going to do it for today. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, peace be with you.